here from Pure Chords. So, are you tired of all these really awful OS control apps that you go like on the Play Store and you think it's going to be really awesome to control your synth with your phone and you download some app and you realize it's really, it's totally shitty, right? It's not doing what it's supposed to do. It's hard to configure. I mean, you're spending like three hours after you buy that app and then you say, fuck this. And you never use it anymore, right? Um, it either looks real bad, performs awfully, um, bad latency, hard to set up. I mean, there's a reason OSC never really caught on as much as MIDI did, right? There's a reason 90% of you still don't control your uh, apps and your PC programs with your phone and still use controllers. So, we're here to solve all that. Um, introducing the Pure Chords. Pure Chords. Uh, the company is Pure Chords. The product is called Pure Chords as well. It is a MIDI keyboard uh, for your phone with some additional features. As you can see, you have two octaves. You can go up and down on the octaves as well. Um, you have five sliders. And, oops, my phone is a little bit bad. The program is not bad. And XY controllers, five buttons, randomizer, and a really cool LFO that can work on all these buttons. Really, really, really easy to set up. All you have to do is enter just your IP address. Default port is to you should never ever have to touch the port. Um, here you can set your MIDI CCs. Okay, we're working with MIDI. This is not ask as far as you're concerned. Other than entering your IP, you're working with MIDI. So you enter your MIDI uh, CC numbers just like using any controller, just like using something like this. Confirm. Then all you have to do, there's no setup on the PC side, nothing. All you have to do, open our little companion program. This comes with the app, uh, just download it off our website. All you have to do is choose your MIDI driver. So for example, I'm using here the Sonicor scope. So I'm using the MIDI driver from the scope. MIDI cable is connected to my Innovation K station. And are you ready guys? Notice almost neg negligible latency. Oops, maybe I didn't choose the right. Okay, scope PCI. I think I don't have the right MIDI channel set up, so all I have to do is go in here, choose the right MIDI channel, confirm, and there we go. So I have some parameters set up. And I can turn on my internal LFO. It really depends on the sound. I have no idea what it's mapped to right now, so. So it's really, really super easy. So this was with the K station. Let's see how it would perform on Ableton. So let's, uh, I'm opening now. Uh, and Ableton Live, uh, let's disconnect the K-Station, uh, opening Ableton Live instead. I have some project here set up. Let's hope I did save the MIDI. Um, actually, I'm not sure. Let's really hope. Please note, it's missing some VSTI. <laughs> set up to turn on the channel I can also turn on the other phone so this will work with anything it's fast it's super cool the speed and the latency depends only on your um, if you have a good sound card with a good MIDI driver it depends just on that. The latency from the uh, network operation is negligible. The app is awesome. It works really well. And I plan to update it. I have huge plans for it. So just support it. And you'll be getting a uh, great app uh, on release 
with lots of updates coming as well. So thanks for checking this out and I hope you see this as the revolution that I see it. It's a complete solution. It's the first time that you have a complete solution. Just get the app, open it, and it works. No hassle. It's awesome. Oh, oh, one last thing. You can open like a million of these. You can open 10 of these. All you need to do is open the server one time. You can open 10 of these and just do whatever you want with it. So thanks guys. Check this out. See ya.